Hello and welcome back everybody, it's Alpagoros here with more Chrono Cross Blind and I am currently at the fight with Lynx. Now, I was hoping that I had more revives, but I do not, so if Grotus dies, I'm pretty much fucked. So that's almost that, I changed some of the equipment and I actually equipped some new elementals on the previous ca on the characters. But before I start this fight, there's something I want to address here. So, as you all know, this is blind. I don't know, I, I specifically written it blind up in the title. So why the fuck do people take that as a good point? Oh, we're gonna spoil the fuck out of this game. I don't want a single fucking spoiler. Alright? Previous episodes, I, I you know I said that I thought I would travel in time. I haven't played this game, I did not know that we travel in di between dimensions. I just recently got to know that. Like, either last episode or second last episode. So, why would that be a good point to spell, uh, spell out in a comment? Of course, I had already seen it, so that's I don't know, a good way for me to actually have been able to avoid that spoiler. But still, no fucking spoilers. If I've missed a character, fine. Tell me how to get it. I have missed it. I, I can't get it. And if there's a character I can get, sure. I, I don't really care that much. If I have run past the character. Like the comment I got about the uh, doll character I've missed. And of course I got in the comment about the uh, dog character in the beginning. That I don't mind. But the whole thing about El Nido, what the fuck that is. I haven't gotten any clue. I haven't actually gotten to it yet. Why would that be a good thing to spoil for me in a comment? When this is up recorded, I am about two weeks ahead of recordings. I just recently entered Wiper Mansion in uh, uploads. So why would that be a good point to actually spoil the game for me? Seriously, people think. Well, at least it's not as bad as fucking Kirby 64 where an idiot spoiled the final boss, or rather how to get it event right away, in the first fucking episode. Great going, people. Have some decency at the very least. The reason why I don't really backlog this kind of LS play that much is because I want to take some help of the comments and whatnot, and mention what people write to me and whatever. When I actually get stuck and stuff. But when there are flat out spoilers like that, I don't approve of that. I get it, you all love this game, I haven't played it before. You do, you do get frustrated because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing sometimes. But that still doesn't give you the right to spoil the game. A sane person would not spoil the game. Or at least if you're going to spoil, be vague about it. At the very least. Also 50 health, that's more than enough. I'm gonna use Ice Blast here to do the most damage. That's a new uh, thing I equipped by the way, the Ice Blast. Well, like you have been good with comments, you haven't spoiled anything, so kudos to you. Neither have uh, the 222. But he hasn't played the game either, so... He can't really do any spoilers. But yeah, I have been a bit better prepared now with... Um, you know, a few equipments and uh, a few uh, elemental equips and whatnot. Magic ring, I don't think I got that last time. And last time, which means I died. But oh well. I still have to be prepared with him doing his insta-kill attacks, though. Uh, actually, I should probably go and heal Solar just in case. But I should be more careful about the healing now. And not screw up like I did last time. I think that's Solar. It's kind of hard to tell with the... Uh, camera angle sometimes. But oh well. Now since this guy is black, or purple I should say, dark or purple, whatever, that means light will be most effective to him. Now the guy, I can't actually uh, remember his... Actually, something with silver. 
he gave me the tip that um, elemental weaknesses are not always as, as they seem. Now that, my friends, are a helpful comment, which doesn't really spoil anything. Not in a heavy regard, anyway. So that is an acceptable comment. I should have brought turn white, I think. But we're gonna protect Grotus here. By turning me black. That way I should avoid his insta kill attacks with Grotus. Although I should have probably have given more white magic or white elemental to the uh, other party members. I think Solar is the only one with Photon Ray. But oh well, it could be a lot worse I suppose. And hopefully I will actually beat Lynx this time. I should be careful about having the uh, Dark Elementals though. I wouldn't want him to summon something. Okay, I'm not allowed to revive now, that's a problem. So I'm gonna use a gravity blow here. Should have possibly given a revive to someone else. I think that would have been a better idea in the long run. Oh well, too late for that now. Okay, he's doing anti-white on uh, solar. But... That is alright though, because he does not have a blue elemental. Uh, we're gonna go with a fireball here. Hopefully that will do some decent damage at the very least. It did 24. I suppose that's decent enough. We're gonna do with some more heavy damage now. Good, managed to get in both hits. Imbecile. Magic temporal decrease, not good. Oh well, I could... Actually, I'm gonna use turn red here. That way my blue magic will be more effective against Lynx here. Okay, of course it misses, wonderful. Well, let's go with uplift 2 then. Might as well just go all out with magic and hope for the best. Since white is out of the question. Wait, 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 I can use white with him now, good. So at least that's positive. Gonna go with an electro jolt though. Her magic is weaker, however, so I should be a bit careful with that in regard. Hell Soul. Okay, hopefully Solar won't die now. Did he die or... Okay, good, he didn't die. Wonderful. Alright, her magic is a bit down. So, I think it's better to do regular attacks. Okay, good, he's almost down. Uh, I'm gonna go with an Aqua Beam. To prevent the uh, colors. Into turning into pure yellow. Okay, we're gonna go with regular attacks. Good. Uh oh, hell soul. Hopefully it won't hit. Because I don't feel like reviving. Please don't hit. Okay, it hit, but it didn't affect him in the way that it killed him. So that's good. I'm gonna use a photon ray here because that is very effective against Lynx. 40, okay, not as effective as I was hoping for. So, let's do these attacks. Okay, the last one missed, sadly. And of course, his three hit missed. Anti White and Grotus, which means I can't revive for a couple of turns. But that is alright. Gonna go with a grand finale here. I hope for the best.
Ah, uh, 25, not good enough. So, we're gonna go with regular attacks here. Okay, good, we defeated him, awesome. So, my preparations paid off, wonderful. And all were alive, and we now received a growth level. Six in strength, the rest was, went to up with one. Stress, ten, that's a nice stats. Solar, of course, gained awful stats, but at least it's better than nothing. And we can We got the Pendragon Sigil C, so that's nice. And of course, Lynx is a uh, cat. Bugger! It was just a shadow! Well, Lynx is a cat name, I suppose. Did you think I would be stupid enough to pick a fight with a rabbit dog? Why, yes, a shadow of mine is enough to deal with the likes of you. I forgot his voice, though. He's getting a new one. Now, Grotus, what do you desire from this world? Do you wish to live again? Do you want to erase your demise from the page of history? What's wrong, Grotus? Ooh, can't see him. I think we possibly screwed something up. Okay, what the hell was that thing? Listen to me. The end of the human world is nigh. When this time comes, Grotus, there shall be a deep enmity between you and the world. This is not speculation or prediction. This is history. Wait, another shadow? Oh, three shadows. Bugger! This doesn't look good. You cannot escape. There's something I want to ask you. Riddle? Okay, of course, text is too quick. Don't move a whisker or you want this girl to live. Goodness gracious, who are you? My darling Riddle, why you dirty? Shut up, old timer. Our lives are at stake here. There ain't nothing dirty about saving your own life. Just stay calm and quiet and I won't hurt you, okay? I just need you to come with us till we reach a safer place. You alright, Grotus? Come on, let's bust out of here. Yeah, Grotus, don't uh, watch the blinking light there. So, are we magically teleported out of this dungeon or... Nope. Don't be foolish. Do you really think you can escape? Uh, we're gonna try. Oh, it's Karsh again. We're blocked in. You fiend! Take your dirty hands off Lady Riddle! Oh, okay. What'd I take me for? An idiot? Ugh. Grotus, this way. So, we didn't solve anything here. We only got to know something about Grotus' uh, destiny in the world. <laughs> and the the other cars, links, and what's his name? Just move here casually and calmly. Isn't that great, people? Isn't that great? We have you now, you vermin. There's no way out of here. Bloody hell! Let's work out a deal. Oh yeah, Viper is his name. How could I forget that? Uh, forget that. Release my daughter, and I shall let you walk away. How about it? Yeah, right. As if you can trust you. Are you willing to jump to your death? Look out! Ugh. Uh, did we just kill Ceres? And she fell down. Or maybe it was Lynx. What do you live for? What are you willing to die for? What is it with this game in automatic text boxes? I've been waiting for you, Grotus. 
waiting a long, long time for you. Oh, it was he who threw the dagger. Now come to me, Grotus, the assassin of time. The Chrono Trigger! Come to me, Grotus! Oh, so he's just like Elmel in Chrono Cr Trigger. No! He is the Chrono Trigger. Well, it looks like Ceres is fine. And Solar apparently jumped down as well. Oh, he jumped with us, so never mind. Okay, we went in here automatically. So that does that mean I can save? Oh, I can. Nice. I think I am actually supposed to save. I probably c could choose not to save as well, but eh. Let's see here. Gold of when ripples become waves. Okay, finally we're done with the dreaded uh, Wiper Mansion. However, I shall end the episode here, so thanks for watching, everybody. And stay frogger one, and I hope to see you next time. And for, for crying out loud, remember, do not spoil the game. Have some human decency and common sense. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, hopefully. See you then.